What's up, YouTube? This is Wi-Fi Memory here today, bringing you guys some VGC 2021 action. Today, I got some VGC battles that we're going to be rocking out with Kai Ogre today. Let me know what you think about the face cam too, by the way. Um, been a long time since I used a face cam. Actually, first time I used a face cam was when I first started with Elgato, and I think I did like one video. So I haven't really messed with it that much. Let me know what you guys think about the face cam, though. Um, but first opponent today, while we're using our Kyogre team, um, Zekrom, Zapdos, Ensign, Bronzong, Clefable, and Rillaboom. So let's see what we want to do here. Um, rental code for this Kyogre team, by the way, will be at the very end of the of today's video. But let's get this spouse. Let's go ahead and think about what we want to do. I think I'm going to go kind of standard because we are running a little low on time. Kyogre, Torn, Lecky, and I really like Como. Let's do Como. All right, let's do it. Let's see if we can get game number one a win. But yeah, this is what I look like for the ones I don't know. <laughs> I am planning on shaving a lot of this off, but this is, this is, what, this is me. This is who I am, right? So uh, get used to it. I want to try and get the. Um, I want to try and get a uh, more webcam video kind of thing going on, but we'll see. We'll definitely see it because I mean I do touch myself a lot, like touch my nose because it's itchy, you know. And so we'll see because I'll definitely have to try and change a lot of that around. But anyway, let's get into battle number one. They got the real boom. They got the Zekrom. Definitely fret my Kyogre. Because we are a choice scarf Kyogre. By no means. I mean, it's pretty threatening. Um, the thing is, are they... Are, do we have a safe switch in? We got Lucky. We got Como. Neither one's a great switch in here, right? Let's just throw an Ice Beam out there. Let's see what happens. We'll throw an Ice Beam... And we'll go ahead and throw up a Tailwind. We'll just see. I mean, you can always stop one with a Fake Out. I mean, hey, that's fine. Ice Beam comes out. Which damage are we doing to Zekrom? We're doing quite a bit of damage. And he goes for Dragon Dance. Okay, my man. I think he just threw this one. I mean, he can definitely Grassy Glide our Kyogre. So it's not completely thrown yet from our opponent. But our, our man got a little greedy. A little greedy. We'll just go ahead and set up our Tailwind. Um, yeah, that's fine. Fine Protect there. Because we'll get our Tailwind up. Um, Grassy Glide. I don't think it KOs Kyogre. It might, though. My Kyogre is not that bulky. It, it just straight up KO Kyogre. Okay, that's fine. My guy Ogre's not the bulkiest guy, so that's why I KO, KOs it there. Plus, I think if Rillaboom's max attack or something, I think it's pretty dang close to get a KO on Kyogre anyway, so that's fine. Let's go out to Como. Alright, so from right here, we definitely need... I'm thinking uh, Iron Defense for sure. We got Tailwind set up. Um, thoughts on icy wind? Um, I don't, I don't hate it. Let's go ahead and do it, because what can Zekrom do to us is the big question. Yes, he's got that dragon dance up, but if we get our iron defense, we should be fine, right? Yeah, you're gonna withdraw Rillaboom because Rillaboom can't do nothing in the situation. You go into Clefable. Okay. Icy wind's up though. How much are we doing to Zekrom, too? That's quite a bit of damage to Zekrom. What well, if he's Life Orb? You know what I'm saying? Then he's definitely not... I mean, yeah, he'll do a lot of damage. But then he's taking a lot of damage back. You know, Kamo still outspeeds him, too, now. So we can pick up the KO next turn. Boat Strike. Probably into a Tornadus. Not gonna lie, that's gonna KO Tornadus. But let's see, are you Life Orb? That's a pretty cool animation. I didn't see a Life Orb. Let's see. There it is. There's the life orb. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you're doing too much damage to yourself. Clefable's out here, though. 
And I'm pretty sure our body press from Coma O probably don't do that much to Clef Fable, but what about Reggie Lecky? You know, Reggie Lecky's here. If we do a combo attack, I think we're fine. Like, we know we outspeed on Zekrom, but Zekrom may go for Protect here. So I think if we just do a combo attack, we might be able to get this KO. We'll see. We are a little bit back against the wall because there's the Protect from the Club Fable, of all things. Come on. Come on. I was wanting that Zekrom to go for that Protect. What does Zekrom want to do? Dragon Dance? That would be a great time to go for Dragon Dragon Claw. No, into Lecky? I don't know. I don't know if that's the right play. It probably is, though. Ult ultimately, I do think it is. Because, I mean, either way, Kamo is the last thing on the field. It's You can't do nothing to Clefable. You don't want to take an attack from that Zekrom either, though. Let's see. Right here says Protect? No Protect. Okay. So Zekrom goes down. Game one is about to be a bust, though, because I'm, I'm expecting a moon blast. There it is. Como probably going down, right? Yeah. GG to our opponent. I definitely could have played better board positioning, but our opponent did a fantastic job. So let's go ahead and jump over to game number two. All right. Game number two. Eternatus, Primarina, Landorus, Ensign, Whimsicott, and Rillaboom. Okay. Let's see. I did go up against an Eternatus in practice, and I felt like I was relatively okay in that matchup. I think the best thing to do is Lecky and Tay. Real Boom's okay here, but you got Lecky for the Epic Marina, so don't worry about it. Uh, Como, we're going to try Como again, right? Are we? Not really, because he's not really that great here. Yeah, he threatens the Ensign, but Kyogre is a must, right? And that threatens Ensign as well. Um, Torn? How's Torn look? Because Torn can do quite a bit of damage to Eternatus if it comes down to it. I'm not against Torn. Let's do that. Lecky, Ante, um, and then Kyogre, Tornadus. I don't like that because we're putting on a lot of pressure early, but then we're also bringing out a lot of pressure late game. And I, I, I like the, uh, I like having a lot of offense. If you guys haven't noticed already, I, I am a big offensive player. All right, one second, Primarina. We do lead Lecky, right? Yes, Lecky Ante. In fact, we have the best lead ever against this. So, um, I'm expecting. Uh, switch for not Primarina, really and truthfully. Um, probably into Lando. But this is fine. Let's go ahead, Fret, not Electro Web. We'll go for Sacred Fire. Let's see what you want to do. Because I have a feeling you're not going to stay in. You actually do stay in. Limsicott goes for um, Protect. Primarina goes for Protect. Okay. You see what I'm wanting to try and do, though? I'm going to switch things up. I'm going to go Thunderbolt now into that Primarina slot. Our opponent just thinks that we want to get that speed control and all that. No, no, no. I want Primarina gone if I'm going to... I mean, at the end of the day, Primarina has to go, right? So, Thunderbolt. You go into uh, Landers if you want. That's fine. So we'll go Sacred Fire, though, into Wimps. Let's see if we can get the double KO. One of these mods may have the Focus Sash, a.k.a. Whimsicott. It could. Primarina most likely does not. Primarina does switch out to into Eternatus of all things. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Thing is going up against Eternatus, you gotta keep your speed control. Because Eternatus is a fast boy and then Tailwind's up too, so Eternatus might be the fastest thing on the field now. Let's see if we can get that paralyzed. We do not. A little bit unfortunate. Let's see if we get the burn at least. We do not. We might. There's the burn. Fantastic. So Whimsicott at least down. So right here we might need to try and go for Electro Web. 
that uh, Eternatus is going to be super fast, though. A little concerning. A little bit of concern. Let's see. Um, might go into Rillaboom. Okay, that's an odd choice. That's basically for the Lecky. You're basically trying to stop the Lecky here. Um, I could see Meteor Beam on that Internatus too, though. That could hurt quite a bit. Yeah, Protect Lecky. And predict the Meteor Beam? Don't really have anything to take it, though. We'll Sacred Fire. We'll just Sacred Fire the uh, Rillaboom and see what happens. Maybe we can get him off the board. That would be fantastic, actually. Fake Out coming out into Ante. Yeah, we're not... Um, we're Pressure. We're a Pressure Ante, so we're not in our focus. So, yes, he's able to do that. One thing I want to try and fix on this Ante, but as the time being, I do like pressure too, though. Like, it's one of those weird situations. I do like pressure as well. All right, I'm not worried so much about the um, fake out now because he can't go for it. Let's try and let your web. But I'm still worried that that internalize could be faster. I know it is. We're in a weird spot. We'll just, I guess, have to sack. We'll do something like that. See what happens. Ante's Assault Vest, so we should be able to live Eternatus' attack if he goes into him. Prima Arena will come out. Prima Arena probably will not like to take a Sacred Fire, I have to say. Sludge Bomb. Let's see. Do you take it? Lucky does take it. Electro Web comes out. Eternatus dodges, but that's okay because we're hitting the Prima Arena with a big, super effective attack. Going in with a Sacred Fire as well into the Prima Arena slot. Yeah, that's good damage. That's really good damage, actually, because I can easily KO that with the E-Speed. It does suck, though, that we did miss our um, Electro Web into that Eternatus slot, though, because we kind of needed that to lower the speed of Eternatus. Um, how many more turns of Tailwind do you got? You got only one turn. Yeah, I'm fine with this play. You could protect Prima Arena here. Definitely could. Um, but I still would. I think I'd still make the same play. Yeah, because Prima Arena now goes down. Prima Arena is out of the out of the game, and you just sludge bomb to Lecky that went for protect. Uh, Lecky should now be able to outspeed because uh, that was the last turn. A tail one on our opponent's side. And it's going to be really hard for them to reset Tailwind, I'm pretty sure. Um, don't necessarily. Do we KO the Tailwind setter? We'll find out. I'll check. That was Whimsicott. Yeah, we did KO Whimsicott. Um, so, yeah. I mean, yes, we know Fake Out's coming into the Lucky or Grassy Glide. At this point, it's okay to sack Tornadus here. And then we can easily just Sacred Fire. I know we're clicking that button quite a bit, but it's actually doing quite a bit of damage too. Battle's canceled. Fantastic. We get we take those wins. Let's jump over to game number three. All right, game number three. We're going to be in Spectre Year Calyrex team. Also rocking up with that um, Whimsicott, Neoligo, Ante, Rillaboom, and Urshifu. Very cool team. Urshirilla. Combined with Ante, you know, that that's a pretty cool core. And then you got the Spectre Year Calyrex, too, with it. And I, I mean, this is going to be a very offensive team. We're going to have to be able to be able to know what fights that we need to try and take on first. Uh, knowing that our opponent is going to be very offensive, I'm almost okay with going Tornadus Kyogre as our lead. Um, the only concern I would have is if they lead... Rillaboom. So we need to have an answer to deal with that Rillaboom if they do lead Rillaboom. And I think the best answer is actually Como. -O. Como, -O, come in, switch in, take the attack. Maybe. I mean, that, that to me is a pretty decent switch in. Um, and then we can probably bring our own Rillaboom, I would imagine. 
Because if you look at the core, you know that's most likely a water Urshifu. So Rillaboom could be very threatening here for against our opponent. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try this for get, for this third and final game. Let's see if we can get this W. Yeah, one thing I do want to try and fix though with this setup is maybe try and fix the lighting because it does look a little dark in the background. But with the natural sun too out here in the back, it's not too too bad. But I can definitely see some shadows and stuff, so I will try and fix that. Um, maybe even potentially try and get a green screen or something. I don't know. We'll see what we do. But this is going to be the setup for a little bit. And then I'll slowly get better and better with everything. So we'll just see what happens. So Tailwind, Whimsicott, Kyrex probably wants to go for Astro Barrage. We're practically got the same strategy. I mean, unless they want to go for Trick Room, and then that throws me definitely for a huge loop. Well, let's see. Yeah, there's the Tailwind. We are Choice Scarf on our Kyogre, so most likely we will outspeed. And that's kind of important, actually, because we might just one-shot this Calyrex. Let's see. Here comes the big Water Spout. We don't one-shot, but we do quite a bit of damage. There's the Astro Barrage. Tornadoes has the Focus Ash. Kyogre shouldn't faint. Fantastic. We're in a good spot. That's that's a good spot. Because we can go... I, I like that. We can go like that. And then Water Spout again. That should get the double KO. Um, Kyogre, Torn... Whimsicott switches, that's fine. Ursh, okay. Is it water or dark? It is water. Okay, fantastic. Let's get this Kyrex off the board. Uh, enough to break the Urshifu Sash, so Tornadoes is actually going to be able to come in as well to get the KO onto the Urshifu. Because our Hurricane is 100% accurate. And Urshifu just doesn't take Hurricanes very well. So, hey, we're, uh... That was that was a good, very aggressive. We we definitely won that aggressive war there. It, it ain't over. Kyrex is still in the back. Um, and he got Rillaboom. Okay. Oh wait, we did get rid of Kyrex, didn't we? What am I talking about? We got rid of Kyrex, but Rillaboom is still a pretty threatening Pokemon. Um, we gotta get rid of Whimsicott basically, and we win the game though. Hurricane, Water Spout. I mean, your real boom can only hit one with Grassy Glide. Battle's canceled. Fantastic. Um, let me go ahead and get you guys that rental code real quick. All right, so here's the rental code. Uh, the Pokemon I'm covering up is Kyogre, so I mean, that's pretty standard. You know, it has the Drizzle ability. You can see the Choice Scarf, and then I have Water Spout, Scald, Ice Beam, and Thunder on this thing. This thing hits like a truck. Most of the time, you just want to go for Water Spouts. You try and get the clear by taking out the Y Guard user or something, and then you start spamming Water Spouts. Pokemons you worry about with Kyogre are Real Boom, Luigi Lecky, um, a potential even in Sin. You know, sometimes those Pokemon can really stop Kyogre. Well, that's why Koma O's on this team. Como is basically a perfect wall for all those Pokemon. Uh, you have uh, Body Press, Iron Defense, Taunt, and Protect. I stole this, the move set from Herald HD, which I think he stole from James Beck. So this is a we're uh, stealing this Pokemon from everybody that uh, has featured this Pokemon. But this Pokemon, it's a great Pokemon. It even checks Reggie Lucky very, very well. Most of the time, Reggie Lucky can't handle a Body Press, and he can't do much in return. So. Very great Pokemon. Uh, Serena's uh, triple axle actually isn't even that very threatening. And I'm you don't even have to be set up, and it doesn't do that much damage. But once you're set up, don't even worry about Serena trying to hit you with triple axle. Uh, Pokemons that do threaten Kama O would mostly be your uh, fairy types. Uh, good check, most of the time for fairy types. I mean, you got Antae. Antae pretty much resists any fairy move. You know, I mean... Antae's there also to threaten Pokemon like um, 
ice types as well that uh, Kamo may struggle against. Um, so yeah, Antes here, pressure, uh, assault vest, second fire, stone edge, extreme speed, and crunch. Think about getting high horsepower on it. Not 100% though. Not 100%. So let me know what you guys think. Or does not even get high horsepower too? That's another thing. I, I think it gets stomping tantrum, my, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think though about adding like a grand attack over Stone Edge or something. But yeah, so far that's the set. Um, yeah, I want inner focus, but I got pressure right now. Just because, one, I'm relatively been actually been kind of busy here lately. So I haven't had too much of a chance to play Pokemon as much as I want to. But that is what it is. Alright, so now next Pokemon though. Reggie Lecky, uh translator. Plus Magnet, this thing hits like a truck. Then you got the Retro Web Thunderbolt Vote Switch and Protect. This is a nice Pokemon. Uh, just kind of there for the speed control for the most part. But then if you need to get some big damage out, you got Thunderbolt. If you need a pivot, you got Vote Switch. That's what you basically use Lucky for. Protect's nice on it too. Real Boom, Grassy Surge, Miracle Seed. This thing hits like a truck as well. Um, grassy Glide, U-Turn, Protect, and Fake Out. Um, I like U-Turn. I started uh, running U-Turn over Woodhammer pretty recently, and I do like Woodhammer. But I think with U-Turn, you're able to... Because this real boom's a little slow. So he comes in, he takes an attack for you, and then, you know, he um, U-Turns out. So that's basically a free switch into a not-so-bulky Pokemon like Tornadus or Regilecki come in. And by next turn, you have a really good board positioning. Last Pokemon, Tornadus. Prankster, Focus Ash. Tailwind, Icy Wind, Hurricane, and Taunt. Kyogre's best friend, basically, is what everyone calls Tornadus. And I have to agree. This Tornadus, though, does help with the speed control. With the Icy Wind, it does the same thing as a Retro Web. You know, so it's very nice. And I've used it plenty of times in Reggie Lecky's place, you know? <laughs> And it does just as good. But anyway, here's the rental code. I hope you guys do enjoy this team. Um, if you do end up using this team, let me know in the comments down below on what you guys would do to change this team. How would you make it better? How would you make it... I mean, if there's any tweaks or something that you guys want to do. Um, also, let me know what you guys think about the face cam. Do you think I need a shave too? I mean, come on. I'm pretty sure I do. I mean, I'm pretty hairy, right? I know that. I'm actually probably about to go shave right now but anyway this is a uh, wi-fi mayorman signing out peace